Hi, my name is Ben Cass, executive chef here at Hampshire Hills. Welcome back. And as everybody is still cooped up in the home and hopefully observing all the coronavirus uh, shelter in place or what have you, um, I'm going to show you today how to make a really easy and simple bread and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. So all you need is three cups of flour, preferably bread flour, but uh, all-purpose flour will work just as well. Uh, this is two teaspoons of kosher salt and a half teaspoon of yeast. And that's instant dry yeast. You can use active dry yeast as well. Combine all your dries together. Then you gotta add a cup and a half of room temperature water. You just don't want it uh, cold. And we're gonna let this proof or ferment for a minimum of 12 hours and upwards of 24 hours so it's a great thing you can put it together put the dough together at dinner time or before you make your dinner and then it's ready to go by the next morning or next uh, afternoon um, whatever size container you have at your house you just want it because the dough is going to approximately double in size by just using one of these square containers here but a bowl or anything of its um, of the size volume that you need will work. A little bit of pan spray in there. Then you just simply throw this in. Make sure it's covered very well. And just keep it someplace room temp. You don't want it too warm um, nor too cold. Just basically just your average room temp. So if it's in a drafty room, it's not gonna work quite as well. And uh, set it aside. This dough right here is sat for approximately 18 hours. As you can see, it's just about doubled in volume and it should kind of look like Jabba the Hutt slithering around a little bit and bubbling. That's what you want, that's a good sign. Um, I like to use a baguette pan, it just makes it easier. This is a very, very sticky dough and it's kind of tricky to work with. It's, it's uh, not adaptable to making perfect shapes, so that's where the baguette pans come in. Uh, but you can also just cook it straight on a sheet pan or cut it into dinner rolls. Um, all I do, just a little bit of pan spray and a lot of flour. Spread it around on the board, cover your hands. And I try to just let gravity plunk it out. The less you mess with it, the better because it is super sticky. Then I just give it a one flip little bit more flour on the top. And all you really need to do now is just to shape it into a rectangle. And then taking pretty much any knife, but just a French knife I find works best. Just divide it as evenly as you can, but again it's not going to be perfect. And all I do is the floured side, I just kind of roll a little bit. And just form it into a quick cylinder and then just stretch it out to the shape of your baguette pan. And again, you can also do this right on a, uh, a sheet pan as well. And if you wanted dinner rolls when it's like this, just flour it a little bit more and then you can cut it into smaller pieces and cook it as dinner rolls. So that one's a little bit bigger, but that's all right. And that's all you need to do. And now we're gonna put this into a preheated 450 degree oven for approximately 12 minutes. Um, Household ovens will probably take just slightly longer, probably more like 15 minutes, maybe upwards of 20 minutes, just because they tend to cook a little bit slower than the ovens we have here. Your dinner rolls, if you cut them smaller, are only going to take about eight minutes. So, so let's go put this in the oven.